Hello and welcome to video four of the four videos for section 1.2. In the last video we looked at the, comp uh, the composite functions, composition of functions, taking a few different functions, putting them together into one. In calculus it's going to be helpful to kind of take a function and break it into different parts that we can then do the operations on. So that's what the last part of this uh, video series for section 1.2 is decomposing a function. So let's say we have an example. Let's say that we're given some capital F of X, which is a function, and this function is cosine squared of x plus 9, and we want to find the function f, the function g, and the function h such that we can rewrite f of x, the big one, as just the composition, as f of g of h. So when we're doing a decomposition of functions, there's a couple steps that we can use that'll make it easier for us. If necessary, so for one, if necessary, rewrite the function So as I go through these steps, we'll kind of work our way through this function that we're given. So in this case, when I say if necessary, rewrite the function, for this one, we have the square next to the cosine. Well, this really means the same as what? This means the same as f of x is cosine of x plus 9, and then we're going to square the whole thing. So instead of saying cosine squared of x plus 9, we're saying cosine of x plus 9 squared. So we're going to rewrite it so that in the next couple steps it's a little easier to decipher some things. Second step, we're going to verbalize what is happening. And by this verbalization, what we're really talking about is order of operations. So remember with order of operations, we're starting, if we have parentheses from the inside the parentheses, working our way out. So let's do that for this function here, the f of x. Well, what are we doing? We're taking, so this was step one, so step two. So for this function, we're taking x plus 9. We're taking x plus 9, then take the cosine of that. So we're taking some function. We're then going to take the cosine of that function. And then what are we doing? Then square that value. So take some function x plus 9, take the cosine of that value, then square that value. And that's essentially what we're doing here. We take x plus 9, we're going to cosine, take the cosine of that value, and then we're going to square that value. So once we've done that, then the third step is to find the functions that we're looking for, f, g, and h. And you notice, what do we have? We have three functions we're trying to find. How many things did I verbalize? Three, right? So remember the composition. We're starting at h, then going to g, then going to f. So the way this is written, we're kind of going backwards. So we're taking x plus 9, our h. So h of x, or just h, is x plus 9. That's our function for h. We're then going to take the cosine of that value. So that means what? So the next function we have is g. So g of x is we're taking the cosine of whatever that value is. 
And then once we have that, then our final function, our f of x, is that we're just squaring whatever that value is. So we take some value, that's our h of x. We take the cosine of that value, so we take the cosine of x, whatever we had previously, and then we square that value. So we take that value x and then we square it. So that's all we needed to do for this one was find f, g, and h. So let's look at another example. So this one is number 51 in the book. So if you want to go back and reference, if you need another example to work, that's this one from the book, section 1.2. And we want to express in the form of f of g of h. And the function we have here, it's called r of x is equal to the square root of the square root of x minus 1. So in this case, there is no really step 1. There's no uh, rewriting that we need to do. So we need to verbalize it. So the first of my verbalizing, again, order of operations work from the inside out. So what am I doing? I'm taking the square root of x. And again, we need three pieces that we're verbalizing, f and g and h. So I'm taking the square root of x, I'm subtracting 1 from that value, and then I'm taking the square root of that whole value. So that means what? I'm taking some value, square root of x, I'm subtracting 1 from that value, and then lastly, I'm taking the square root of that value. So again, we're going to work backwards. The first thing we said is our h value, then to g, to, and then to f. So I'm taking some value, square root of x. So that means h of x is square root of x. I'm subtracting that from that, subtracting 1 from that value. So that means that my g of x is whatever value I had, subtract 1. And then lastly, my f of x is that I'm just taking the square root of whatever value I had after, the sec after finding the g. So that's it. So f of g of h, my h of x is square root of x, g of x is x minus 1, f of x is square root of x. So pretty quick video there, just a couple examples, how to decompose a function, but if you follow those steps, rewrite it if necessary, verbalize it, what's going on by order of operations from the inside out, and then just with each verbalization, assign that to your H, to your G, to the F. It kind of makes it uh, real straightforward for you. So come on back. We'll work on section 1.3.